it's here. <laughs> it's arrived, as you can see. Suno Studio. And I'm excited to present to you Suno Studio in less than 10 minutes. I'm going to show you everything this thing can do in a very short amount of time. So all those other videos you've been watching, this is the one you want to bookmark, okay? Let's jump straight in. Let me break it down for you. If you have the free plan, you've got access to Suno 3.5. You don't have access to version 5. If you've got the pro plan, as you can see here, you have access to version 5. But you don't have access to Suno Studio. For Suno Studio, you need to pay $12 a month and pay for the entire year. If you're paying month by month, then you're going to pay $15. The pro plan, if you don't want to go to Suno Studio, yearly, you can pay $6 times 12, $72, which isn't bad. But if you're paying monthly, it goes up to, uh-oh, $10 a month. So, penny wise, pound foolish, you got to decide, am I going to buy this in bulk or am I just going to be paying month to month? It's really up to you. But anyway, it was a no-brainer for me. I subscribed for the $12 because I've already experienced tens of thousands of dollars using Suno. The amount of satisfaction, if I was going to quantify my pleasure and satisfaction using Suno, I couldn't do it. I couldn't even quantify it. It's been a blast. It's, I've, I've seen my creations come to light. I've released over seven albums currently using Suno as my main production tool. All these songs, of course, I wrote them, but to be able to take your songs and you got a ready tool, a producer, I mean, it's unbelievable. So Studio is just a cherry on top and it's my way of partnering with Suno. Whether I use Studio or not, I love what they've done and I wanna support them, all right? So let's jump in. So I've subscribed to the Suno Premier Plan. Now, when you get into Suno, regularly it looks like this so how do you get to studio you can go to suno.com forward slash studio or watch this on the left hand side you've got these icons you want to hit studio and boom that gets you straight into suno studio it shows you what percentage of the program is loaded because it's a door browser if you wanted to call it that it's a browser a door in a browser and um, here it says version 1.00 beta so I'll just tell you right off the bat, there's going to be stuff that may not work properly. There's going to be bumps and kinks as you go through it. So just be prepared for it. As with every software application, the first rodeo is never complete smooth sailing. All right. So now we're in this environment where we can collapse or expand stuff. You see this icon for songs, this icon for library, and you got all these other icons that you can collapse or expand. Okay. Let's go ahead and expand this one for studio. So now this is just studio and I have a project open, but if you wanted a new project, just click on that and click on new project. This is a brand new project. It is called untitled. Let's click on the three dots at the top and let's just rename it. And we're just going to call it play pen. <laughs> Suno play pen. Let's hit enter. And there's your Suno play pen and you can begin having a blast in this thing. So if you go onto the library, right over here, you can look for whatever you have created in the past. Whatever you, whatever you fancy. So here's Spiral, for example. This is a song I wrote and very recently released. So I like this one. If I want to play with this, I'm just going to drag it straight onto the timeline or the studio area, right? I can close that and boom, I'm focused on it. If you click on the actual track, you've got the parameters here where you can change the color of the waveform and the other things right the tempo seems to be good it's on beat uh oh i spoke too soon it's too quick so what do i do i go to tempo over here on the right hand side and i select original and now it's going to sound sensible Let's go to the beginning and let's play. Okay. All right, so that's a track that's really cooking, it's grooving. But I can go a step further. Right down below over here, you can see extract stems. Now, what does that mean? It means I can get the stems for that song. So if I wanted to do that, I just click on extract stems. And it gives me options. Do I want all detected stems or vocals and instrumental? I'm going to click all selected stems. 
and it's going to be cooking over here and by the time it's done i'll have everything that's available here vocals if they exist drums bass guitar all that good stuff and when it's done i could move all of those tracks those stems straight into the program but over here i've got a track that's in limbo i can go ahead and either delete it or if i have use for it i could say let's rename it and let's just call it keys go keys all right hit enter and clicking on this again i want to see if my stems are ready oh there they are and they just cooked all right i got all my stems they're all coming through one by one seems like it's all ready all right so what i'm going to do next is move this all the way to the top and then I'm going to put all my stems in by clicking on insert all. Boom, that's all of them. It looks really pretty, I must say. So I've got all these stems in there, but I also have my go keys over here. I could do something with this go keys. I could record a track to this at some point. But let's listen to the middle. I want to make sure there's a good place for me to put my piano in here. So let's play so that's cool and I could always just hit s for let me move myself out of the way so you can see this I can hit s for solo so I can play just that vocal track or as for solo for the drums drums bass I can hold control and select multiple So hold down the control key and you'll be able to select multiple S's for solo. Now, this song is on A minor. I wrote this on A minor. Let's say I wanted to place on my keys. I can go ahead and choose the inputs that I want from here. And over here I have Roland Digital Piano. Let's say I wanted to just insert my piano playing somewhere here. Two things I'll need to do. I'll need to hit this activate button. We call it arming the track. I'd have to arm it. That red dot says it's armed and ready to go. Right now, I'm not really seeing a signal saying it's coming in. But if I hit record and it is indeed recording, I'll see the waveform begin to emerge. So let me make this super big just so you can see the waveform as it develops. Okay, making it really big so you can see it. Let's hit record over here. All right. So to stop recording, you can just hit your space bar or you could hit pause but that's my recording pretty much done it's going to take some time as it always does when you are importing any audio from outside into suno i'm going to make this a little bit smaller and when all is said and done let's take this off so i've dearmed it and when it's ready you'll see a coherent waveform but let me go ahead and just play and see if it's truly in there <laughs> So that's it. That's what I recorded. So let's just have the bass, S and S for what I just recorded. And you can hear that. So 
So that's how you get your audio in there. As far as plugins for reverb and delay and stuff like that, you don't have that in just yet. But remember, you can always export everything, right? The entire multi-track. And when you do that, it will give you those stems that you could take into a DAW and use as you will. The other cool thing I like about this is, let's say there was a piece of this music that I wasn't too happy with the quality. For example, let's say the, the bass, right? If I wasn't happy with the bass, I could right click on the bass and I could just get MIDI, just the MIDI for one instrument, the bass. And what I like about Studio is it doesn't get crazy charging you credits and credits and credits. I think it's a decent package. I've got about 10,000 credits now. And just knowing how the game is played in, in Suno, every month you get a refresh. So I'm not really bothered about credits. I just do what I need to do. So it gives you a MIDI file. You can take that MIDI file. You can actually play the MIDI file in any MIDI player. But the other thing you could do is just select those that you want to play solo and you could go ahead and export what you have selected right you could go ahead and just do uh, the full song which is everything okay all right and last but not least let me show you what happens when you're done downloading whatever you were downloading so let me click on this and i can see the playpen midi whatever i whatever midi i downloaded is done and to listen to your midi what you would need to do is open up a DAW that is capable of playing MIDI and displaying it. So it's going to take that MIDI file and it's going to split it into as many pieces as needed. This is Mixcraft. It's a very low cost, very simple DAW to use. I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm just going to drag this in. This is the Playpen MIDI, right? Playpen.mid. When you download it, you're gonna get something like this. You see playpen.mid. You click on that and drag it into your door. And at that point, it will be split into however many pieces it needs to. So over here, let's just go ahead and play what has been downloaded. You see where all the activity is. When all is said and done, if it was a successful export of the MIDI information, you should be able to experience something as coherent as I did earlier when I downloaded the MIDI for one of the songs that I played with, this one. You can hear that bass, that's MIDI. bad, huh? Drums. Piano. So I'm excited because all this stuff was never before available in studio, but now I can get stuff converted to MIDI or close. It's not perfect, but as a musician, I know what to do to tidy it up. You can have some razor sharp airtight sequences that you do in Suno and you export them to MIDI and the sky's the limit from there. So as far as a final for the embellishments you need to do from your library, maybe you created something Suno, bring it into studio, add something else to it. You can even drag in vocals from outside. And this is early day. It's only going to get better and better. And then you can take what you do in studio, export it out, go doctor it somewhere else. Honestly, my friends, the sky is the limit. But that's all I have for now. I just wanted you to get an idea of what you can do in studio. For some of you who are beginners, studio is going to be too much firepower for you. If you haven't used a door before, I would advise you to get used to doors like a Mixcraft get, or get one of the, the cheap doors or the zero cost doors that I have demoed on this channel before. Get used to it and then this will begin to make more sense. But as far as the firepower in Logic or Pro Tools or even Mixcraft, it's not there yet, but I am very sure that with the acquisition of WAV tool 
I know that Suno isn't just sitting down napping. I know they're working on version two and version three, and it's only going to get better and better. Thank you for joining me today, my friends. Hit that subscribe button, like this video. I'm going to be bringing you a lot more where this came from, and you want to see my experiential journey as I experiment in this awesome tool called Suno Studio. Bye for now. See you soon.